On top of Greenland and Antarctica, there lies most of the world's freshwater ice. Each year, a little bit of these glaciers melt into the ocean due to climate change and global warming. But what if all glaciers suddenly melted? What would happen if something occurred in climate and caused all the ice to melt at once? A glacier is a large moving mass of ice that is formed by the accumulation of snow on mountains near the poles. If all the glaciers suddenly melted at once, it would be one of the most catastrophic natural disasters ever. The Arctic animals that lived there would be left to die in the water. Sea levels would suddenly rise by tens of meters. This sudden rise would cause a devastating tsunami, a few kilometers high. Do you know what it means? This would mean the end of the majority of the world's population, or in other words, the majority of humankind, as the majority of people live near coasts. Coastal cities like New York definitely would drown in a very violent flood, and most of its population would be evacuated urgently. The sudden drop in ice sheet pressure in Antarctica and Greenland would cause massive earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Terrible scenario, right? This is only the beginning. It could be much worse. These glaciers on Greenland and Antarctica represent around 70% of the world's freshwater supply. All of these massive amounts of fresh water would go straight to the oceans at once, which would affect the ocean currents and weather patterns and cause catastrophic disasters. Let's make it more simple. In the North Atlantic Ocean, water that gets higher in temperature near the equator travels north at the surface of the ocean until it reaches cold and high latitudes, where it becomes cooler. When the water gets cooler, it becomes denser than warm water. So it sinks to the deep ocean where it travels south again to the equator to become warmer, and the pattern continues, or what we call the ocean currents. And here we come to the most critical moment. These amounts of fresh water would make the seawater less dense, which would stop the previously mentioned pattern or the ocean currents. At that moment, Western Europe and North America would return to the ice age without that warm air. And that's because when the ocean currents stop, the temperature of Europe and North America would drop and the rainfall would increase in a drastic way. Not only that, but this would create hurricanes in the region that will destroy everything in their path. We are not talking about ordinary hurricanes, but the salinity difference in the ocean would make the hurricane strong like a huge monster that would destroy everything in the area. Coastal areas already affected by the sudden rise in the sea level will be further devastated by these violent hurricanes that are directed to shore by the powerful winds. Anyone on an island probably would never survive. What makes us so worried is that scenario is not far from us. We have to take serious steps to control climate change and global warming to save the Earth from that horrible scenario. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. See you again!